Okay, today is September 8, 2013. Uh, next Tuesday, September 10, Apple is going to hold a uh, event. Most likely will announce the uh, latest generation or the uh, latest version of the iPhone 5. In addition to that, uh, there's also some sort of announcement uh, in China as well on the following day, the September 11. So it's definitely it's going to be a uh, you know buzzing week for Apple in uh, you know in next week's trading. So I thought uh, I want to take a look at Apple and uh, see where are the uh, most likely price level that uh, Apple might be uh, targeting in the uh, coming days. And I want to bring your attention to this gap here. Pay attention to this gap. And I'm going to go and project uh, these uh, price level using a couple of different, uh, you know, method. And you, uh, you know, most likely there's a different type of trader might be watching, you know, different thing. And, uh, and this price gap come to play. So first of all, we look at this uh, more like a double bottom here. And if we uh, do a major, you know, major move on this double bottom using this particular, you know, pivot low here somewhere around this, uh, you know, the uh, closing high. Of that particular day, and also the uh, you know closing high of this guy here, and I'm basically just using my Fibonacci retracement tool and set it up to a 200 level, you know 200 uh, percent extension, and you can see that level come right up to near this gap here, All right? So it's somewhere around the 539. So that's one major move. This is basically the double bottom here that we're talking about, you know this right here, All right? like a W here, and then we got this little breakout, false breakout, come back, retest, and break out again. It then went to the extension of uh, 161. So if this thing could bounce off this 200, you know, this 20 EMA, and move about the 510 level, uh, likelihood is that we probably will see it to trace out this, uh, you know, this 540 or near this 537. Okay, 537, 539, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, it's 539. So now there's another level that we could look at, and essentially we could look at this particular swing on the using the Fibonacci uh, retracement as well. Okay, if we look at this here and go up to, I'm using the closing basis. Okay, so yeah, I mean you could use the uh, intraday, but uh, you know it doesn't matter. It's only a little bit of a minor error, so it's all depend what your preference is. And you can see here right at this 127 extension again it's 539 getting right into this gap here it's basically using this particular swing here it came down uh, you know got up to this hundred percent point and came down to the 78.6 so if we break about this 510 essentially this uh, this uh, uh, closing high here which is 507.74 so if we break about that and uh, trace it out to the uh, 127 extension on this particular Fibonacci retracement move and we'll get up to this, uh, you know, 539 as well, and which will be in this gap here. Okay. Then now we're going to go and do a little bit more of a short-term Fibonacci retracement, and using this particular swing. And once again, if you take a look at this 161, right, this 161 uh, retracement, it bring up to that 541, which is up right near the bottom of this. Uh, you know, this gap here, right? The low of that particular day is 541. So you can see that 539 to 531, essentially filling this gap will be the uh, the level to watch for Apple in the coming day, right? And uh, essentially right now, you can look at this as, uh, you know, bouncing off and get up to this 507 is the critical resistance. If we could break that 507, then we're looking for Apple to move up and fill this gap. Now, a lot of people might be looking for Apple to be, you know, uh, pull back to this 470 level. That's a possibility, but right now, essentially, you know, the uh, the upside is the gap here. So keep an eye on this gap and see how Apple will react when it gets to that gap. So hopefully, you know, they will give you some insight on uh, some of the price level to watch for uh, the uh, coming day when Apple, uh, you know, announces uh, some of the new product. Okay, good luck.